wake-up call is with regards to all the allegations that has been put to the NPP by the Trinamool Congress in various platforms, be it social media or various meetings that they've been holding across the state. Yes, the allegations that they have put has been always baseless. They have never been able to substantiate those allegations that they've put. Whereas, uh, I just would like to share this with the people of the state, with also with the press fraternity. We have compiled a small thing with regards to the AITC and the senior leadership that they have. Uh, starting with uh, the kind of scams that have been going on nationally with the members of the AITC, be it in the national and the state level in West Bengal. To start off with uh, Mr. Abhishek Banerjee, who is also the General Secretary and also the nephew of Mamta Banerjee. He himself is connected to a money laundering case uh, and also linked to the Bengal coal scam and in which the enforced directorate is now questioning the corrupt leader in which his wife is also involved. Secondly, Mr. Partha Chatterjee, who has also looted over 50 crores of public money through the West Bengal School Service Commission. His deeds have spoiled the future of many of the students and the children. And we see TMC speaking about education for them speaking about every other thing in the state, whereas their leaders have been involved in such scams. The next person we speak about is Mr. Anubrata Mondal, who also has been arrested by the CBI based on the cattle smuggling across to Bangladesh. These are the things that TMC has been speaking about the NPP in the state and these this is the some things that we have substantiated okay Mr. Vinay Mishra who also has a scam of a hunt of 13.63 crores of a company linking to the TMC this TMC youth leader Mr. Vinay Mishra okay and this scheme is uh, is related to the eastern coal fields and the line and the mines that are in Kanstoria and Kajora, which is in and around Asansol. Mr. Manik Bhattacharya, also one of the leaders of the TMC, who is also questioned by the Enforcement Directorate in connection with the money laundering in aspect to the SSC, Teachers Recruitment Scam. Whereas here, they show sympathy to the teachers. We also know that TMC has also been involved in, you know, <coughs> Mamta Banerjee, she had blocked the Tata company to come into Singur, saying that it would affect the farmers of Singur, which is a livelihood for them. But then we can see that they have not done anything with regards to this in Singur up till now. Now also Mamta Banerjee in 2020 made an open statement that the Bangladeshi immigrants that are there in West Bengal are considered as Indian citizen. So what kind of security is the TMC bringing to the state? What kind of security are, is it going to provide to the people, especially who are settled in the border areas? If this is the kind of ideology that the TMC is coming in with, how do they speak about ILP? Why do they speak about ILP? There are certain many things that we have seen them uh, putting up on social medias. Pictures of a bad road with Meghalaya deserves better. My question to them is that these roads have they just been like that since 2018? Or those villages have just come into existence in 2018? Or those villages always there from before? The leadership of TMC in the state had many opportunities to take up so many issues concerning the state, but did not do so. So now the big question is, why are you putting so much allegations against a party? What clarification do you have to put 
with regards to all of these cases that exist with your top leadership in the party. I think the people of Meghalaya also deserves to know what kind of a party has come in. When they say Meghalaya deserves better, I think Meghalaya already has better. And yes, the NPP, the MDA government led by the NPP is doing all that it can. And we should also remember the saying that, you know, we cannot undo what has been done for the past 47 years. We are trying our best and yes, we hope the people of the state also understand and stay with us. Rome was never built in a day. So we are trying bit by bit to do whatever we can to benefit the people of the state and to take the state forward. So it's just this small thing that I would like to share with the press today. I'd like to thank all of you.